But here, Jesus is being the new legislator and the law that Jesus writes on the dust is the law of mercy. But if I cast out demons by the finger of God, then know that the kingdom of God has come upon you. May the peace and joy of Christ be with you today. We know the context in which Jesus made that statement. Jesus cast out a demon from a man, and then some people praised God for what he did, the great work, but some from the crowd they said they accused Jesus, saying that he cast out demons by the power of Beelzebub, the head of the demons. And that's why Jesus speaks about the finger of God at work. The phrase finger of God is used to mean the power and strength of God and his powerful intervention in the life of the people and the salvation history. We see this usage for the first time in the book of Exodus. And interestingly, this phrase was used by the magicians of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. We know in the salvation story in the book of Exodus, God performing many miracles in the presence of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, through Moses and Aaron in order to redeem the people from the slavery of Egypt. God asked Aaron to strike his staff from the dust that there will be, they will turn into knots. And that happened throughout Egypt. The positions of Pharaoh also tried to do it, but they failed. And that's where they said, this is by the finger of God. The second time we see this phrase being used in the scriptures that is in the context of the Ten Commandments. And the scripture says, the Ten Commandments were written on the tablets of stone by the finger of God. And again, we also see this phrase being used in the book of Daniel. Now the same phrase is being used by Jesus himself in today's gospel. And Jesus says, if I cast out demons by the finger of God, then know that the kingdom of God has come upon you. And Jesus means to say that he did not cast out demon by the power of Beelzebub, but by the power of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. The expression finger of God also means the Spirit of God. And that's why Jesus continues to make his comment on the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Now we have an additional reading to the finger of God. St. Augustine refers to that. Remember the incident of the woman caught in adultery. When the woman was caught and brought to Jesus and made the accusation against the woman in front of Jesus and then they asked him his opinion. And Jesus tells them, let the one without sin among you cast the first stone at her. And he bends down and writes on the dust with his finger. And that indicates the writing of the Ten Commandments on the tablets of stone. But here, Jesus is being the new legislator and the law that Jesus writes on the dust is the law of mercy. My dear friend, the same finger of God the power of God is at work in your life today. If you are open to the power of God, if you open up your heart and mind and your life to the finger of God, you will experience the power, you will experience the miracles, you will witness changes in your life. Everything that is evil, everything that is dark in your life, will be cast away as Jesus did in today's gospel. Because
says his power is superior to any other power. May the finger of God redeem us. Amen.